Hi Stampers, this is Super Awesome Stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, USA. This is video 7 on my 12 Dies of Christmas extravaganza. So in this series, you purchase the kits and then you provide your dies and your stamps and your inks to finish the kits. So let's get started. You'll look for the kit that's got the pool party cardstock in it. And then you'll also need to pull out the dino dies. And I'm using these dies, the large egg, the leaf, the horizontal looking dinosaur, the stem of the palm tree, and then the little scales that go along the back of that dino. So those are the dies that I'm using out of that set, the dino dies. And then grab Dino Days, the coordinating stamp set. So it is a photopolymer stamp set. And look, I've used those quite a bit already. They've, they've been stained. So here is your card making kit. Everything's tucked in your envelope for you. So pull it out and see what you got. You've got a strip of the gold gilded gems. You've got a couple strips of these blue adhesive back gems from the August to December catalog. And then everything else in your kit comes from the annual catalog. A couple of pieces of ribbon, some cardstock, your pattern paper, and then your white. All right, so I'm gonna move some things away and just pull them back in one, one by one as I use them. So I always emboss probably at least one piece of cardstock and this time I chose to emboss the entire card front. This is the hammered metal embossing folder. So go ahead and pause the video and run it through your embossing machine. Hammered metal is a great choice because it looks like dino scales. All right, and then when I run my paper cardstock through the embossing machine, I always need to crisp it up a little bit, crisp up, up the score mark. And all your cardstock comes scored in my kit, and that's partly because I need to fold it and put it inside your envelope. And I really like a scored spine. I don't like a one that you just fold over and run with your bone folder. I don't think that's as crisp looking as a scored one. All right. So next up, grab your piece of white and your yellow strip and your pear pizzazz strip. So I'm just using some scraps I had. So go ahead and reach into your scrap bin if you wanna swap out the pieces of paper that I've added to your kit. So the first ink pad I've used is the crumb cake. And for that, you'll use the palm tree stem. And then also three of the palm fronds on the yellow. Okay, and then we're done with the crumb cake. So I'm gonna close that up. Done with that one. Next on my a sequence of stamping over here is the pool party. And for this one, I did the dinosaur. So just the weight of the block is all you need. See, I'm just leaving the weight of the block. It needs a little more time, just a little slight push to make sure all the ink transfers. And I am stamping on a photopolymer mat. That's because, or stamping on a paper piercing mat. And that's because I'm using photopolymer stamp sets or stamps. And it needs a little bit of extra give when you're doing the photopolymer to, for the ink to transfer to the paper. Done with the pool party. Next, we're gonna bring in the shaded spruce. And I am going to stamp the spines on the dinosaur. Oh, and I'm gonna to try to line it up. And then we're gonna cut off the dinosaurs. So we're gonna cut off those spines, but that will help make a seamless look. We're gonna stamp it again. So we're gonna cut out those spines as well. This, this one, the spines are gonna be cut off. You'll see what I mean in a minute when we start assembling. And then the 
sentiment needs to be stamped on your pear pizzazz piece. And last, pull in your piece of pool party cardstock. And we're gonna stamp some of those spines, just peeking out through the top of your sentiment area. So grab the spines again. And that real that one just needs the weight of the block because it is a small photopolymer stamp. There. Now we're all done stamping, so I can close this up. This was the shaded spruce ink pad. Okay, so let's pull this back in. Done with the paper piercing mat. And we will need to assemble up our magnetic platform. So bring back in your dies and everything that you just stamped. So I am going to maybe cut that off. Don't need that. And then, uh, let's see, sometimes the dies kind of jump on your, on your platform. And especially they might jump when they're close to each other. So let's see what happens when I do these. Or you just can't get the dies to stay where you want. That's what I mean by jumping. Oh, that looks pretty good. From my angle. All right, and then um, your sentiment's going to need to be fussy cut, so just cut that off. And your palm tree stem. See, it's jumping a little bit. And then you'll have to run your palm fronds through three times because we have three fronds or however many fronds you're gonna do. And then last, you'll grab your piece of paper and flip it over and cut out an egg. All right, take this through the big shot. So here's my sandwich. Yes, I still am using a big shot. I haven't invested in the new uh, cut and emboss machine. So that would be the sandwich that I'm using. And I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all the pieces die cut. Now we need to start assembling. So bring back into your workspace the strip that I have got cut for you already, one of the lengths of ribbon, your blue adhesive back gems, and the gilded gems. So I like to work with the easiest pieces first, which is generally the inside piece. I'm just going to have those spines peeking out right there. And then next will be the strip. So that's going to be your ground. Using some glue, um, liquid glue for that, the green glue, the mono glue that we sell. That's going to be the ground. And next will be our egg. Thought that egg shape was really cute to include on the card. And then the palm tree trunk. And the three, three palm fronds. I don't know if they're called fronds if they've got a different name or not they just look like asparagus fronds to me just putting a little bit of glue on the back side all right I'm going to show you my boo-boo my dye I was trying to run it through really quick so it jumped a little bit I didn't notice it um so I just stamped since it's a photopolymer stamp I just stamped on the side that just had the yellow on it and nobody is going to know. Um, yep, just like that. And just press down for a few seconds when you use the liquid glue 
to give it a few seconds to dry. All right, now we are working on our dyno. So the reason why I had you stamp a set of spines on the white is because a little bit's poking through. And then when we cut it out, we got a little bit of white, whisper white poking through. It's not a perfectly right next to the scale cut. So what we'll do is apply a little bit of the liquid glue on the back side of the dyno. And then we'll just kind of move the scales on Whisper White into place. So it looks like one complete scale there. Kind of adds a little bit of vis visual interest as well. So can you see that? So we'll just move it into place. Okay, so put a little tiny bit of glue along the back side and up to the tail. And then flip it over. And since it's liquid glue, you've got a few seconds to move it into place. And a few seconds on camera is not long enough. There, there, that looks pretty good. Okay, and now I'm gonna flip it over, put another layer of glue on those scales I just attached, and then on the rest of the body, Flip it over and add it to our scene. And then we're done with the liquid glue. So we can go ahead and close that up. And I'll grab some other glue. So we'll grab your tear and tape and just place, oh, about a little more than a half inch, maybe three fourths of an inch in the upper corner. And then take your ribbon and cross it over into a V. and press down. Now grab your paper snips and fussy cut around your words. There isn't a die for these words. But we needed to add a sentiment and that upper corner needed a little bit of something. And then tear and tape on the back of that since we're attaching it to Ribbon that's a little shiny, and the ribbon is from the Playing With Patterns combo pack. All right, our finishing details are our gems. So grab your blue adhesive back gems and put one in the center of the back. And then I went put one at the base on the back and then the base of the neck. I got a little piece of lint right there or something. Piece of the plastic. Oops. And then the last two evenly spaced between the other ones. All right, so I gave you more gems than what, what I actually used on a card. So you've got enough to actually make, I think, two cards with the pattern paper and the gems, Just and you just need to add your cardstock to it. And then a gem up there, kind of cementing all three of those together. And then a gem on the egg. So I added the gold gems first, and it still needed a little something, so I added the blue gems on the body. There we go. So this is the sample I started with. This is the one I just did with you. It's the Dino Days dies. They're just called Dino, the dies in the catalog. So I'm going to show you where I got all the products. One product from the August to December catalog. It's the blue adhesive back gems. Oh, I marked the, the indices. So page 37, that's what those indices are good for, looking up things. Blue adhesive back gems are part of the Snowflake Splendor Suite on page 37. Then the rest of the products came from the annual catalog. So the Dino Days stamp set, page 98. And then this coloration, this light gray behind the images indicates there's a coordinating die. So just look in the 
description and it says it's on page 180, the coordinating dies. Got a few more things to go through before we get to page 180. So I use three different ink pads. Shaded Spruce is part of the Regals. Uh, the Crumb Cake is part of the Neutrals. And the Pool Party is part of the Subtles. The Gilded Gems on the Palm Tree and the Egg is number 16 on page 157. And the ribbon that I used is the Playing With Patterns, the combo pack. You get three different colors in that pack. And the Dino. Dino right here. The Dino dies on page 180. And then last, the embossing folder I used is the Hammered Metal embossing folder. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this day seven of my 12 dies of Christmas extravaganza for December 2020. If you'd like to purchase the kits, which includes the consumable supplies, uh, go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com and click on kits in the mail and you'll get all the details for ordering my 12 dies of Christmas kits in the mail program. All right, thanks for watching. There'll be 11 other videos, so I'll be watching for those to post to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button so you can be notified when I load new content. All right, have a good day, stampers. We'll stamp with you soon. Bye.